This might be the best guitar advice I've ever heard. The speaker or speaker sim that you choose for your amp can significantly affect your overall sound in your mix or whether you're playing live. Mind blowing, right? Well, stick with me and we'll take a deep dive into it. So here's the problem. You've got your guitar, you've got your amp, your effects, everything is top notch, but something, something still doesn't sound quite right. Your recordings or your live playings just don't have that wow factor or don't sound like you imagined in your head. You try tweaking EQs, you try putting effect pedals in, you try changing preamps, do all those things, but nothing seems to make a substantial difference. This is a common issue that I've certainly had, but many guitars face, especially when they're starting out recording. Now here's the solution. It could be as simple as changing what speaker you're using, whether in real life or as a plugin, because the speaker in your guitar cabinet can drastically change your tone. It's an often overlooked and undervalued component, but it plays a massive role in your overall sound. So let's break it down. Imagine your guitar speaker is the last link in your tonal chain, right? It's the final stage where all your decisions, all those tonal decisions that you have made with your preamp, with your effect pedals, with your guitar, with everything, gets converted into sound waves that ultimately reach our ears. Different speakers have different tonal characteristics, and these can greatly influence the sound of your guitar. What you heard at the beginning of the video was me playing one amp with five different speakers. I use the Hotone Ampero Mini, which is a great multi-effects amp modeler, with one amp, no cabinet section engaged, and ran everything through Speaker Mix Pro using their DSR speaker models. As you saw, I used everything from vintage 30s to greenbacks to hempbacks to ruby and neo 250s. So a nice variety of different speakers. So the purpose of that experiment was very simply to show you how one amp model, a medium priced modeler that you can buy anywhere, can sound drastically different when combining it with a really powerful plugin like Speaker Mix Pro and when combining it with the top emulations of speakers made by Celestion. One of the easiest ways to start off is obviously by combining what kind of speaker you want with what genre of music you play. So, for example, if you play rock and roll, historically there have been really two main speakers that are associated with that genre. You have vintage 30s and you have greenbacks. Now, vintage 30s, obviously Slash, etc., etc. Greenbacks, ACDC, you know, everyone in the 70s basically. But even within the V30 and within the greenbacks, there is a massive difference within the sound and the tonal characteristics. <laughs> If you are more into blues, you're more into that kind of American Fenderish sound, hempbacks. Hempbacks are fantastic speakers for that. Or you could go down the route of Ruby speakers or Celestian Blues, for example. Brian May famously uses those are paired normally with Vox amps. So again, polar opposite in terms of sounds. The hempbacks be very very aggressive sound, but works very well with those low gain amps because it's really on the verge of breakup. The Ruby, for example, very different. It has a vocal quality to it. It's like someone singing, hence big part of Brian May's fantastic tone. When Brian May plays something, he is singing a vocal line essentially on the guitar. So very, very different depending what you have in your head.
if you're into the heavy metal hard rock kind of stuff go ceramic the ceramic cream backs have very aggressive punchy tone with that tight tight low end that you need to play with very high gain but do remember one thing with the incredible technology that we have today and programs like speaker mix pro and the evolution of IRs into DSRs, like the ones that Celestian do, we have the ability to mix, match, and create our own sounds. And that is the most important thing that you could get out of this. By changing what speakers you're running on the right, what speakers you're running on the left, it gives us the possibility to tailor it to our own style of playing, tailor it to maybe our favorite guitar, tailor it to whatever sound we're hearing in our ears, because that is something that 50 years ago would have not been possible. And today, whether you're recording professionally or just recording at home, that is something which allows us to layer sounds, like if you're painting, layering sounds to make it our own and to give a vibe, to give texture and to give a real sense of individuality to our music. The key is really to experiment and find the right thing for you. So I guess going back to the original piece of advice that I was given and the one that I mentioned at the beginning of the video, maybe, maybe next time you're not satisfied with something, don't concentrate so much on the preamp section, whether you're running a, a physical preamp or a plugin, a modeling software, whatever it can be, maybe don't concentrate so much on that because ultimately what converts the sound, what ultimately brings it to your ears is the speaker. And that is what affects tone a lot more. And, you know, great manufacturers such as Dave Friedman, people that really, really know what they're talking about insist on this point and there is a good reason why they insist on this point maybe we all spend too much time too much money on what comes at the beginning of the signal chain but not what comes at the end and often we just don't worry about that bit because we take it for granted that whatever is at the beginning will ultimately decide everything else and that's not the case. So I guess next time you're recording and you're not satisfied with your tone, maybe try something different. Head over to the Celestian Digital website, I'll put the link below, and try Speaker Mix Pro. Try doing comparisons, A-B comparisons between two speakers, and you may well be very surprised that what you've been missing is just sitting there. So until next time, thank you so much as usual for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, if you think I'm being unfair to the preamps, if you think maybe it's not the right way to think about it, let me know in the comments. Give me your opinions and give me your thoughts. Have you tried out Speaker Mix Pro? What's your favorite DSR or IR out there? Let me know. Thank you for watching and be good to each other. Please love each other and peace out.